Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I'm here with my co-instructor. This is Karis, and Karis is four and a half years old. And we're working on our series for dynamic balance. And on this one, we're actually doing balance beam walking. So balance beams are easier if they're raised off the floor and, well, slightly raised is, is easier than a line flat on the floor. It, once you elevate it, it gets harder. Um, so wider is easier than narrower. So right here I have effectively an eight inch wide board by putting two four inch ones together. Um, can you walk on that one all the way across? Oh, I see. You didn't even need to use that other one. Very nice. I have a question. If you put your hands on your hips, can you do it? Because you had your hands out wide. That makes it easier. Hands on hips, can you walk across? You can use both of them. Okay. I see how you're showing off. Very nicely done. And if I take away, so it was eight inches wide. If I take away part of it, heavens to Petsies, and have it eight inches, well, only four inches wide. Can you move my foot out of the way? Can you walk across that one? You want to do your hands free first? Four and a half years old looks easy as pie. And if you have your hands on your hips, can you do it? Oh no. What? So easy. Now let's see if you go to the harder one. This one's wider, but it's rounded on top. Can you do that one? Whoa, you want to have your arms out wide to make it easier first? Holy smokes! And hands on hips, can you still do it? So this one's, uh oh, hands on hips, whoa! So hands on hips, that one's tricky. Very nice. Okay, the next one is down here. It is a little bit soft, so I'm curious if you can walk on that one with hands out first if you'd like. So a softer one can be harder. At the clinic, sometimes we ha have half bolsters and I have kids walk on the half bolsters and they can be a lot trickier. Nice job. Okay, the last one is only two, one and a half inches wide. Can she do it? Tricky, nice job. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Very good, come back one more time. Let's see how many you can get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Karis! Terrific! So you can see that these are all different balance beams and they make the difficulty different um, according to whether they're hard, whether they're rounded on the top, or how wide they are, how narrow they are. I hope this is helpful for you and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.